when you paint, one of the things that you agree to is illusion. My only issue has been uh, for uh, most of my life is the modern guys didn't like me because I used subject matter. The western guys didn't like me because it was too modern. I was in grad school from 66 to 68 and that was the, the beginning of Frank Stella and, and people like that and then Donald Judd single-handedly transformed the entire sculpture world and that he, his presence is still the same today. Nobody has come up that can eclipse what he did and how he influenced the rest of us. So I made, I made work that was competent, that reflected that influence. And, uh, and, and then I, I taught from 68 to 76 at the university and then quit to take over this ranch. And so that was the beginning of the Angus and the horse pieces uh, from that time on. So from 76 uh, to the present day. We lived in a little mountain valley north of Missoula on the reservation and you could ma I could make uh, 10, 12, 16 foot pieces and they made sense in that because the, the mountain valleys were n narrow. In fact, you'd only get the, the sun from like nine to three. And, and so human scale made sense. When we took over the ranch northwest of, of Billings, I could see 150 miles in any direction. It made no sense to try to make sculpture in that environment uh, at all. So I went back to painting, because when you paint, one of the things that you agree to is illusion. So you can, you can uh, shrink a horizon into something that's manageable. As a viewer, when you look at those paintings, you say, okay, I agree to that context. The thing that does a flip is the abstract expressionist because they, part of what they did was object to the illusionistic notion. So I'm kind of in, I have a foot in both places in that I want people to know that my works, they're canvases, you know, and they have a presence. But also, they have subject matter, they have illusion, perspective, all of those sorts of things. I think some of us newly minted MFAs who went to teach at the university tried to extinguish any figuration out of our students and it was a total mistake and it, it continues to this day. Um, I'm, I, I ran cattle about 40 miles south of where Russell was in the Judith Basin country. My grandfather knew him. He was a wonderful painter. And if you look at some of the paintings of Remington, they absolutely defy understanding. So I, for me, as an artist, I am very, very proud to be a part of that tradition. My only issue has been, uh, for most of my life, is the modern guys didn't like me because I used subject matter. The Western guys didn't like me because it was too modern. So I've kind of been sort of out there. But I'm not bothered by that at all. Um, not in any way. I, I think sometimes um, now people do things um, without understanding. I mean, it's easy to go and find a picture online of some cowboy with his rope. But you don't know the horse or the rope or something, you oughtn't bother with that. You know, you have to be a part of it in some fashion in order for it to be genuine and for you to be able to make a statement about that. And I think there's a lot of stuff around that's really not probably very good. I know cows, or I did. I don't know anything. We had, we had all kinds of trouble with this calf and whatnot. I don't know anything anymore. And I've never known much about horses except that I love them. So I can't say, I can't say I'm a cowboy. I just found the hat, you know.